Hey guys, what's up? This is Mike, a Google certified Android app developer and I'm back again with the topic preference activity. So let's get started. What is preference activity? This is the base class for an activity to show a hierarchy of preferences to the user. Android provides an excellent framework to save and manage the user preferences. We just need to use the class and specify some resources and it automatically creates a GUI for that itself. Why we use preference activity? We often see settings screen in many Android apps through which you can configure the app preference on your choice. For example, you want to change the theme or turn off notification messages from the app settings. Normally, people manually develop their own UI for settings and manage the values in shared preferences, not awareing the fact that Android provides API specific to settings preferences to achieve the same in a robust way. In this video, we are going to learn how to implement the settings screen considering the various combination of settings items. Creating a preference screen in Android is not too hard. So first of all, we will create XML resource file for preferences. So go to main resources, create XML directory and uh, create a XML resource file preferences. Okay. So preference screen tag is already here. Now what I'm going to make is that I want to make a two kind of categories. First one is user category and second one is security category. And on first one, I will add username and password. And on second one, I will add few options to lock the screen and uh, to ask update frequently. So to do that, first of all, let me create category tags, preference category, title, user settings. Okay and creating a second category preference category title security settings okay so i will add edit text to enter username in user settings category to do that edit text preference and give it a title username right and we can also give a summary it's like a hint set your username okay to retrieve the value we need to give it a key pref username and uh, that's it here we will add another added text preference title password summary set your password and then key is pref password but we will define input type also because it is a password so of course we will define input type password okay so now come to the second category security settings i am creating checkbox preference give it a title lock screen summary is lock the screen with password and uh, key of course preference lock screen and uh, default value is false that's it for checkbox and now i'm also taking an example of list preference list preference title reminder for updation give it a summary set update reminder frequency okay give it a key pref update reminder okay here i will add two more attributes first one is entries and second one is entry values uh, to give it a value first we will create arrays in values folder giving it a name and uh, creating a first array string array name 
update frequency creating an item into it name equals to one and daily second one is weekly third one is yearly and the last one is never so never name is going to zero yearly we will give 12 weekly is what seven so now we will give it a value create another array which will contain values uh, this is one seven twelve and zero so back to the preference.xml file and give it a update frequency and in values we will give update frequency values now after creating preference.xml go to your java file main dot activity i am having and extend it with preference activity remove the set content view and replace it with add preference from resources r dot xml dot preferences that's it run your project and look at the results so as you can see it is looking very beautiful the first category is user settings where we have username and password when we click on username i can enter my name and click ok it is saved when you click on it again you will see the saved value we have already inserted into it so i can also give it a password one two three four five six but uh, the input type is password so we cannot read it okay lock screen this is the title and this is what we give it a summary so uncheck we can do check and uncheck it will be saved in preference so here list preference comes into the action where we have set the title reminder for updation so when we click on it we will have a list okay so now if i click on daily so the daily option is selected the value we have defined in our array for daily is one so when we get the value from this preference we will get one and now if we select weekly we will get seven and according to that we can code to update it frequently based on user preferences so when someone clicks on never so it will never update like that you can do a lot of thing using this preference screen and now i will let you know how you can retrieve the values it is exactly similar to share preference as we used to do in share preference file that uh, we need to create share preference preference equals to preference manager dot get default share preference and uh, get base context so now we can get string boolean int whatever you want pref dot get string and we need to write the key which we have given in preference activity so the key of this one is preference username copy and then paste give it a default value which is not available and uh, preference dot get boolean we can use boolean for checkboxes preference lock screen is the key of it can uh, false so like that we can get all the values from preference activity it is very easy so yeah that's it for today i hope you like this video and many more videos are on the way for pro members like you thanks for joining and don't forget to follow me on instagram bye bye